Dear viewer, by now you've seen it a thousand times. Your favorite heroic character, in this case me, makes a last second death defying leap to a life saving ledge and grabs it at the very last second. It's a modern staple of gaming, but I'm here to tell you that no matter how charming, no matter how adventurous, no matter how dad bod, according to physics, you cannot climb like Nathan Drake. Let me explain what. Now entering the facility. To my great satisfaction, rock climbing is now a part of modern action gaming and platforming. From Assassin's Creed to Uncharted to Horizon, you are asked to scale as a gamer more and more impressive edifices, both natural and not. As a rock climber of 15 years myself, it's a fun addition to see in games and it's fun to play most of the time. But in addition to being a rock climber, I'm also a scienceman, so it's my duty to tell you that no one can climb like Nathan Drake, nor should you actually want to. Let me explain as we head to the gym. First of all, let me be more specific. I do not have a problem with incredible movement in rock climbing. For example, take this very specific clip of climbing legend Chris Sharma that I saw when I was just 18 years old. I thought that this was impossible. And today's rock climbing goat, Yanya Garmbret, does stuff on the wall, much like a mountain climbing goat, in fact, does stuff on the wall that seems impossible. But I have no problem with this kind of physicality. It's obviously possible. What I have a problem with is the stuff in video games and other pop culture media that make it seem like a falling heroic <laughs> last second grab is something that you can just do, but you just can't, okay? And I'm gonna save your arms by activating Bill Nye mode. So we know from original science Chad Isaac Newton that force equals mass times acceleration. And on the surface of Earth, because of Earth's immense mass, that acceleration we usually denote as G, 9.81 meters per second squared. This is what gives you weight on the surface of Earth, but more importantly, if you are falling, this increases your final velocity as you are falling by about 10 meters per second every second. Now this gives us our final velocity, which will give us our final force on your arms when you try to catch something. So what we're gonna do now is create an equation. We are gonna have a change of kinetic energy divided by stopping distance, maybe the distance that your arm moves as you're catching something. This will give us a force according, of course, to the work energy principle. We then plot this on a graph of force on your sweet, sweet arms and tendies over time falling through the air. This should be able to tell us how much is too much. But is, is too much 10 kilonewtons or is it one kilonewton? Well, hint, it's a lot smaller than you think. Today's video is sponsored by BetterHelp. Gamers, I'm award-winning science educator and Netflix Jason Momoa, Kyle Hill. You know when I'm not sciencing, I'm trying to live my very best life. No, that doesn't just mean eating right and working out. It means acknowledging and taking care of the only muscle that really matters. Your brain is not a muscle. Get help that is better. Better help. BetterHelp is professional counseling done securely and with a licensed professional therapist online. After the service assesses your needs, get matched for weekly phone or video sessions with your expert therapist. Log on to your account anytime to send them messages and change your counselor at any time for free. Don't sit in a waiting room. Don't get stuck with the only therapist in your area. Don't pay more than you have to because you get access to financial aid. If you want to start living your very best life, if you want to stop living life via doom scroll, Go to betterhelp.com slash Kyle Hill for 10% off your very first month. Look, I cannot say it's for everyone, but more importantly, it might be for you. Mental health is health. Make it better with BetterHelp. Welcome back. Now, as you know, XKCD is the spirit animal of all modern science communication. And in his wonderful book and blog, What If, he did the research to find out that a large amount of force that is put on Olympic athlete gymnast bodies is around three kilonewtons of force. He also speculated that an arm destroying amount of force might be around 10 kilonewtons. And we know from a previous episode of this program all about rock climbing that your tendies might detonate in certain hand positions at just half a kilonewton. 
So now what we're gonna do is use these values as our zones that we cannot cross as we plot force according to time. So how long can you fall and then catch yourself like Nathan Drake if you don't want to destroy your arms as, you know, a normal person. Well, it turns out after falling for just one second, the amount of force on your arms is going to be something like seven kilonewtons, well within the arm destroying zone. After falling for just half a second, you are still in the arm slash tendy destroying zone of around two kilonewtons and fall for just one foot a quarter of a second below you and try to catch yourself with your fingertips and you are still in the tendy destroying zone. Class, the math is simple and it does not lie. If you want to fall and catch yourself like Nathan Drake, you cannot be falling for anything more than like a single second. This is just like 16 feet below you. This is a single foot below you. All of it is dangerous. This might be news to you, and news to you if you're a gamer, but this is not news to professional rock climbers. According to section 8.2A2 of the International Federation of Sport Climbing rulebook, it is illegal to set any boulder problems with downward jumps. Now, boulder problems are without ropes. You would be jumping through the air and dinos or jumps is when you are making a Nathan Drake like move to catch yourself. They do this not because it's unfair, not because it would be too easy, not because there'd be some unfair advantage for some climber. No, they do it out of safety concerns. They are concerned that there is a significant chance that the best climbers to ever live will hurt themselves doing any Drake-like jumps. Look, if we don't want literally the best rock climbers to ever live to even attempt these moves out of concerns for their safety, what chance does a part-time archaeological desecrator with dad bod really have of doing these moves. I'm not saying that there aren't good representations of rock climbing in video games. Actually, Solid Snake's form is pretty good. What I am saying is that this representation of the heroic fall and catch, something like this, 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 and this is totally impossible for the average person. If you want to fall and catch something like Drake, you can't be falling for more than a single second through the air. Don't try this. Even though it looks cool and it's fun to play, your arms will thank you. Until next time. Unless you're on the moon or something, a place with like reduced gravitational acceleration, but I'm not there. Cut. Now exiting the facility. Thank you so much to the very nerdy staff at the facility for the direct and substantial support in the creation of this here video. Hey, if you want to join the facility, if you want to drape on a silky white lab coat, if you want videos early, you want bloopy bloop video bloops, you want private discord, you want private live streams with yours truly, not like that though, come on now. Go to patreon.com slash Kyle Hill and join the facility today. And hey, if you support us just enough, you get your name on Aria here in every single video. And as you can see, there's hundreds and hundreds of you. I have no idea how I'm going to pass the time. Now, when I say that a lot of this climbing movement in video games is impossible, the bar is pretty low. By which I mean the average person can't climb very well at all. These video game characters, Aloy, Nathan Drake, they would be super humanly amazing. Most people, go, go out on your local ledge that's not too high up so it'll kill you. Most people can't even shimmy. You know, like the nice video game shimmy, like, oh, let me get over there. Most people can't even do two or three of these. So don't feel too bad. Thanks for watching.